Hello grade 9 students! Welcome to the part 3 of our online class. In today's lesson, we will solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. In solving quadratic equation using completing the square, a perfect square trinomial must be produced. By the way, what is a perfect square trinomial? Perfect square trinomial is a polynomial consisting of three terms that can be expressed as a square of a binomial. Take note that quadratic trinomials are of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a is equal to 1. Example of perfect square trinomial is x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. As you can see, this equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we can express it as a square of a binomial, the quantity x plus 2 squared or x plus 2 times x plus 2. Now, let's solve this quadratic equation x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0 by completing the square. Step 1, transform the quadratic equation to the form ax squared plus bx equals c, where a is equal to 1. So here, we just transpose c or 4 to the right, so positive 4 becomes negative 4. Step 2, prepare a space or line for your constant term to be added to both sides of the equation. Step 3, solve for the constant term. So to find the constant term, we will be using the formula, the quantity b divided by 2 squared, wherein your b here is 4. Now, let's solve for the constant term. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 squared or 2 times 2 is 4. So, the constant term here is 4. And step 4, add the constant term to both sides of the equation. Since the constant term found using the formula is 4, we will now add 4 to both sides of the equation. So, we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals negative 4 plus 4. Step 5, rewrite the perfect square trinomial as a square of a binomial. So our perfect square trinomial here is x squared plus 4x plus 4. And if we will write it to the square of a binomial, this x squared plus 4x plus 4 will be the quantity x plus 2 squared. So I know you will ask me, where do I get 2? So, 2 is the result when you divide b by 2. Remember that our b is 4, so 4 divided by 2 is 2. That's why we have here 2. Step 6, simplify the right side of the quadratic equation. So, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Thus, we have the quantity x plus 2 squared equals 0. Step 7, extract the square root of both sides of the equation, and then simplify. So we will get the square root of the quantity x plus 2 squared and 0. So we have now the square root of x plus 2 squared equals the square root of 0. So the square root of x plus 2 squared is equal to x plus 2. As you can see, we just removed the square root symbol and the exponent 2. So you can also do this shortcut whenever you get the square root of a squared quantity, number, or variable. And the square root of 0 is equal to 0. So we have now the equation x plus 2 equals 0. And step 8, solve for x by applying addition property of equality or commonly known today as transposition. So here, we will transpose positive 2 to the right, so it will become negative 2. Therefore, the value of x is negative 2. 
But since in quadratic equation we are expecting two values of x, we can say that the solutions or roots of a quadratic equation x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0 are negative 2 and another negative 2. Or x is equal to negative 2 which is a multiples of 2. Another example of quadratic equation that can be solved by completing the square is 2x squared minus 4x minus 2 equals 0. As you can see, the value of a in this quadratic equation is not equal to 1. So before we proceed to step 1, let us first simplify this quadratic equation by dividing the whole equation by its greatest common factor or GCF which is 2. So 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. 4x divided by 2 is 2x and negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And also 0 divided by 2 is 0. So the simplified quadratic equation now is x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. Now, let's solve this simplified quadratic equation 2x squared minus 4x minus 2 equals 0, which is x squared minus 2x minus 2 equals 0. Step 1. Transform the quadratic equation to the form ax squared plus bx equals c. So, we will transpose negative 1 to the right, so it will become positive 1. So, we have now x squared minus 2x equals 1. Step 2. Prepare a space or line for your constant term to be added to both sides of the equation. And step 3. Solve for the constant term using the formula. So, your b here is negative 2, and if we will divide negative 2 by 2, the quotient is negative 1. And if we will square negative 1, the result is positive 1. So, the constant term is positive 1. Step 4, add the constant term to both sides of the equation. Since the constant term is 1, so we will add positive 1 to both sides. So, we have x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 1 plus 1. Step 5, rewrite the perfect square trinomial to the square of a binomial. And the perfect square trinomial here is x squared minus 2x plus 1. So what do you think is the binomial form of x squared minus 2x plus 1? Very good! The binomial form is the quantity x minus 1 squared. Again, we get negative 1 by dividing the b, which is negative 2 by 2. So negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. That's why we have negative 1 here. Step 6, simplify the right sides of the equation. So 1 plus 1 is 2. And step 7, extract the square root of both sides of the equation and then simplify. So we will get the square root of the quantity x minus 1 squared and the square root of 2. The square root of x minus 1 squared is x minus 1 and the square root of 2 is equal to positive negative square root of 2. Now, let's split x minus 1 equals positive negative square root of 2 to 2 equations. So we have x minus 1 equals positive square root of 2 and x minus 1 equals negative square root of 2. And last step, step 8, solve for x by applying the addition property of equality or transposition. And x minus 1 equals square root of 2. Let's transpose negative 1 to the right, so negative 1 becomes positive 1. So our first value of x here is x equals 1 plus square root of 2. Next, let's transpose again negative 1 to the right, so negative 1 becomes positive 1. So the second value of x is x equals 1 minus square root of 2.
Therefore, the solutions or roots of the quadratic equations are 1 plus square root of 2 and 1 minus square root of 2. So, how was solving quadratic equation by completing the square class? Is it easy? I hope you found it easy. By the way, the part 4 of solving quadratic equation will be the easiest because of the quadratic formula. So, up next, solving quadratic equation using quadratic formula. Don't miss this video class because it will help you a lot in solving quadratic equation. So, to get a notification for the next video, please click the subscribe button below and click the notification bell all for all video updates. Thank you for watching class. See you in part 4 and goodbye.